George Marsden's The Outrageous Idea of Christian Scholarship points out a lot of interesting facts when it comes to Christianity Christianity and academic academia. Uh, when it comes to academia, there are all sorts of factors that are taken into account that don't have to be factored out or um, filtered out in order to achieve unbiased or academic quality work. Religion is not one of these factors that needs to be filtered that needs to be filtered through. It is not respected and it's actually considered to bias and discredit the historian who is writing or doing their research because the view of Christianity is considered to be a generally dangerous and overwhelming view when it comes to recording history. Marsden points out that uh, the perspective of believing Christianity is dismissed, it's antithetical, uh, it takes away from the scholarly experience, and this is a very flawed perspective because the experience that is being sought after is not just religion or no religion it's the person who is doing the research is researching from a different perspective and that person's perspective is centered around their religion taking the religion out actually takes away the knowledge of a person's bias and what they may have been searching for so in an approach to appear unbiased, people avoid, historians avoid, writing in their historical take, their Christian perspective, and advertising their Christian perspective, which means if you are looking for a source from a Christian perspective, it's going to be harder to find one because they're not viewed scholarly. They're not viewed as reputable. They are biased. But a Christian perspective is just as valuable as a non-Christian perspective. Just because a person makes their beliefs known should not discredit them. In fact, it should actually give more credibility to them because they are advertising their bias and people know what they are looking for. Marsden points out that this is very common to have these religious viewpoints excluded and it is insufficient to empirically say that is, our view is good or bad because of the Christianity. We have our religious obligations as part of our faith, and only we know what those obligations are because they're the obligations we feel responsible for. We have our intellectual responsibility of holding to the truth and that we find and that we can believe in, that the evidence supports, but it's also our intellectual responsibility to advertise our views, our biases. It's our intellectual responsibility to be honest with those who might be reading our research. And by outright discrediting a certain viewpoint, it's going to cause those people who have those that viewpoint to hide their views behind facts rather than outright saying them.